I need you to leave. No, Tony. Please. You told me you loved me. You told me we were family. No, not anymore. No, not. Uh -huh. Tony, where am I supposed to go? You know I have no one else to turn to. Where do you expect me to go? First of all, stop yelling, okay? I booked you a room at a motel down the street. A motel? Yes. What about the money I lent you? Tony, that was all the money I had! Tony! Hello? Excuse me. Hi. I have a reservation. It should be under Malloy. Room 142, down the hall, and to the left. Please pick up. Who is it? And why do you keep calling me? Mom, it's me. Beth? Your daughter? Hello? Mom, are you there? Uh huh. What do you want? Mom, I'm in so much trouble. My boyfriend kicked me out, and I have no money. I have. Nowhere to go, I just, I just really need your help. What do you expect me to do about it? I don't know, maybe I can come stay with you for a bit? Just till I get back on my feet. I gotta go. You'll be fine. And, and stop calling me. Finally. So tired of that we're family shtick. How much did you scam her out of? 20K. Not bad for a three month fling. Too bad she didn't have more. <laughs> Open up! Is everything okay? No, it's not. Your room is only paid for one night. If you want to stay longer, you need to pay me cash now. <sighs> okay. I only have $60. Despise you another night. Wait, that's everything I have. You either pay me or you sleep on the streets tonight. Your choice. Just take it. I'll be right back. Is this Beth Malloy's residence? Uh, why do you ask? I'm her grandmother. Oh, um, she never, she never mentioned a grandmother. 
I certainly haven't seen her in a very long time. Does she live here? Uh, yeah, she does. Um, but actually, she's not here right now. But if you would like to, uh, you know, leave anything, anything at all, I'll make sure she gets it. Yes. Tony, hurry up. Who was that? Oh, that's just my, uh, my sister. Yeah, she's staying with us for a little, you know. So you and Beth are a couple? Yes, ma'am, we are. Um, why don't you leave your number? And when she gets back, I'll make sure she calls. My number's there. Please have her call me right away. Uh, you bet. Mm, thank you so much. Who is that? That was Beth's long lost grandmother. And she's loaded. Look! Gem Industries? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. Aren't they like the biggest diamond importer in the US? They sure are. This is a real opportunity. What do you mean? I'll take Beth back, okay? And reunite her and her grandmother. And then once they see me as the hero who reconnected them together, I'll fleece the grandma for loads of cash. And then I'll dump Beth again. Yeah? Please leave me alone. I already paid you for the night. Babe, open up, it's me. Babe. What do you want? To apologize, I completely overreacted last night. Look, um, I want you to come home today. Really? Mm-hmm. But last night you just... No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Last night I wasn't myself, and I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. You know, I love you, right? I don't know, Tony, I need to think about this. Think? What's there to think about? You love me and I love you, you know? We'll, 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 we'll work it out. That's what we do, you know? Let's work it out. You, you, you do still love me, don't you? I'm, I'm not so sure anymore. Okay, now you don't know what you're saying. Just come home with me and we'll figure out. You're hurting me, No, Tony. I am not. Stop, you're okay, hurting me. You're overreacting. No, stop. You're scaring me. Stop it right now. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. Get your hand off my granddaughter. I saw you in the parking lot with your little floozy. I, I've already called the police. If I were you, I'd leave before the authorities arrive. Thank you for helping me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm your grandmother. <laughs> no, that can't be possible. My mom told me all my grandparents passed away. It's time you knew the truth. Your mother and I, we had a falling out when you were just a few months old. She was hooked on drugs. No matter how hard I tried to help her, nothing worked. She just didn't want to be helped. After you were born, I didn't trust she could take care of you. So I called Child Protective Services and she found out. She took you and she disappeared. She cut me completely out of her life, and I haven't seen you since. I've been looking for you for 28 years. You're more beautiful than I could ever have hoped for. Wow. This is incredible. 
couple. I mean, I always thought it was strange that we didn't have a family. But you do. You have me. And the rest of your family will be so excited to finally see you again. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. This is no place for my granddaughter. Wait, I don't have any money, and I would hate to be a burden on you. You could never be a burden, honey. Your family, after all. I'll explain later. But you never have to worry about money again. <sighs> It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. Well, come on now. Let's get you home.